Hello guys and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful landing page for any restaurant. Uh, for example, uh, your screen you're uh, seeing at my screen. Uh, let me refresh this page. This is uh, how it will look like uh, after I make this page using Elementor and WordPress. All these contents uh, with testimonials, the uh, social media links and at last uh, the phone number or uh, any contact information. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, you will have to install Elementor plugin. Uh, I already have one, so uh, let me show you from where you can get Elementor. Uh, click on plugins, add new. Here, uh, search for Elementor. E L E M E N T O R and press enter. Okay, as you can see, I already have it, so it's asking me for update, uh, but I'm good with it. Uh, okay, uh, once you install and activate this plugin, uh, just come to the add new page section. Uh, okay, in uh, once you already installed the Elementor uh, plugin, you will uh, have this button. Uh, no matter uh, if you are using the Gutenberg uh, editor or the old one. Okay, uh, in the page attributes, you will always have to choose from two different uh, two different templates. One is Elementor Canvas, and one is Foldweight. The Elementor Canvas uh, will look like this, which have no menu and no footer from the actual theme. But if you choose the Elementor full width, then uh, it will uh, show you the menu and uh, the footer from the original theme. For time, for the time, I'm using uh, Elementor full width uh, to show you how it works. Okay, for this page, I'm going to name it uh, Restaurant Page uh, or Restaurant Landing Page. Uh, Elementor full width and click on Publish. Now, for the first time, you will have to click uh, on this button. Uh, no other Elementor link will work until you uh, press this one. Click on this. It will load the Elementor editor, uh, the drag and drop Elementor editor on the front end uh, of the page. Okay, here we go. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, that it will have the default menu from your uh, theme, your existing theme. So uh, I already have a menu and a footer, so uh, it's already uh, showing it here. The template will go uh, here. Okay, now uh, the next step uh, is to download this template uh, from the website. <clears throat> Open a new tab and type Z A M A W E B S I T E Zama website dot com and press enter. On this website, uh, click on browse. Please note that uh, this template is uh, absolutely free. Okay, uh, here you can find uh, some templates, but uh, for that specific template, uh, which is the restaurant landing page 
uh, search for restaurant just type restaurant and press enter or click on search and it will uh, show you some templates uh, okay it, it have uh, two templates and this is the one we are looking for click on this uh, if you want to uh, check it on your own PC how it looks like so click on preview uh, and uh, if you want to download it click add to cart and wait for it okay here it is and click on proceed to checkout just give uh, first name and last name whatever uh, you are entering I'm entering my channel's name WordPress tutorials and click on place order and here we go uh, here in the download column uh, click on this button I'm saving this page uh, to my desktop uh, which will be in zip format in zip file save it start download okay now come to the desktop where I saved it right click and extract uh, this package okay here we have uh, we have the JSON file uh, which have all the code required for that page okay now come to the website again and uh, click on uh, this template add template button click on my templates and click on this button import templates select file come to the desktop and then the folder where you just extracted the file this one uh, no maybe open and the template will be listed uh, in your my page templates section with this import uh, it will get all the images and the text from uh, that page and uh, put it on uh, your WordPress website uh, on the page you are just making and uh, you can change the text and uh, images after you successfully import it to your website okay here it is now the restaurant landing page template style 2 I already had one uh, but uh, it's imported again okay click on insert button and click on yes okay here we go uh, we have the text the background images the settings all all the things that were uh, shown on the the demo page uh, will be imported here but as you can see the uh, attributes that which we selected the full width uh, which allows the menu to show up here is now uh, is now not present here uh, because the main template uh, is already uh, using canvas so uh, it's also 
uh, turn to the canvas section uh, canvas version so we will uh, get to the settings and click on page layout canvas to full width or you can just uh, go to your wordpress uh, dashboard and uh, then edit this page and uh, in page attributes you can change it to full width again okay, click, click on update and click on preview it will load the preview of uh, this page and uh, you will see how it will look like on your own server like you can see it's on my local host uh, WordPress Texas Canvas it's my website and after uh, it's successfully it's successfully saved it will be updated here too okay uh, here you can see all the things which were uh, on demo page are now on my website okay now let's talk about uh, some editing uh, in the um, images and uh, the text click on this page again the elementor editor and if you want to change this background image just click on these six dots uh, of this section it is the parent of this section uh, you will notice that when we shift to this section it will appear here so it is the parent of this section but we are uh, changing the background for this section then click on these six dots and click on style section uh, here is the image click on this you can uh, either upload a new file or you can select it from media library so I'm choosing uh, an existing file available on uh, in my library insert and it will be changed okay uh, similarly if I click on this text uh, the editor will open here I can change the name fresco suites so you can see that uh, the text is uh, changing it's all the changes are in real time so you can see what uh, what is happening uh, when you change okay so when click on this section this text you can see this text appear here uh, you can change the uh, HTML tag from h1 to h2 to uh, paragraph or you can change the alignment left right or justified uh, or you can uh, click on the style tab for each section style tab and uh, you can change the color you can change the typography uh, the fam font family font size font weight or uh, all these things or you can add text shadow or blend mode or you can add some margins to the top bottom or uh, padding or other uh, options are available for each section for example if you change uh, something here and then click here then uh, those settings will will not be uh, for this one it will all only uh, uh, applied for this similarly for this one you click uh, look here and you will see the text here for changing okay uh, now uh, to the next section for this one click on this section and in style it's also in the background so you can change this image in the background for but for this section uh, this image is not in the background if you click here and check the style you can see that uh, there is no image but this image is a separate uh, widget here when you click on this the image is here and it's not in the background it's uh, it's in the content and you can use an uh, different version uh, or a different size for each image uh, you choose here and you can also give it a custom URL uh, when people click on this image they will go to this URL which you select here uh, I'll leave none for now 
and similarly this button uh, you you can you can see that it's changing color when you hover uh, your mouse on it uh, this is because in the style tab for this button when you click this button and come to the style tab uh, the button will be in normal uh, with black background or this gray gray shade and when you click on hover it will be uh, orange and the animation will be sync so if you change the animation flow then you will see it will uh, rise up but bob then skew forward wobble vertical so we will leave it to sync okay uh, similarly for all text and images uh, you can change exactly like uh, the way I, I showed you okay for these sections these images are also in the uh, content section these are the oh sorry these are in the content not in the background and similarly this image is also not in the background but uh, within the content here and this one is also in the content you can change these text too okay come to the uh, testimonial section because these section are uh, exactly the same as above okay come to the testimonial section these are uh, the widgets it's the image box uh, click here you can change the image here the text here and the name here these three things are available in this one box you can also style them or you can change margins or padding for this similarly for this one this one these three boxes are the same this this and this one but uh, these social icons when you click here it's just a single item but uh, here you can add more items for example uh, I have Yelp, Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus but I want to add a LinkedIn so click here and change the icon to LinkedIn search here LinkedIn and insert I'll give it the link https linkedin dot com slash my profile name whatever it is okay update and you can see the uh, LinkedIn is now also here okay uh, similarly this one have a background so click on this edit section and uh, click on style you can change this image or just you can change this text or this phone number okay that's all for uh, today's video uh, I hope uh, you learned something uh, here um, if you like this video please uh, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe our channel so you don't miss our future update thank you